guys, really quick before we start the show. Saturday, October 5th, 9 oh, p.m. Shit. at the Broadwater in L.A., the Hollywood Independent Theater. Uh, it's Laundry Day Variety Show, the very first one, hosted by me, featuring stand-up comedy from Mary Nearhouse, amongst others, and uh, some live sketch, some improv, some music, and you're going to be there, right? And I will be there. Yeah! And you're going to bring all your friends? <laughs> all of yeah! them. All five. Yeah! Uh, it's going to be really fun, guys. There will be a link to get tickets down below. Uh, please do that. And uh, you have anything? You have something you want to plug, right? I have a short film. Yeah. Uh, it's coming out. I don't know, but it's filming in November. And if you want to donate more money, we could always do yeah, more. Yeah, we're going to do that, dude. We're going to put the link in there. And it's called Obscura, correct? Obscura. Yeah. All so right, guys. That is, yeah. Well, you know, I got a producer <laughs> now. We got, uh, we got some research. Uh, thank you. Enjoy the show. Remix. We remixed it. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's shorter now. Yeah, no, I definitely noticed that you remixed it. <laughs> oh. Guys, it is uh it's Saturday morning. Uh Michigan season's on the line today. <laughs> I know I know uh you know, we're not going to talk about it too much cuz I don't want to think about it. And by the time this comes out, it will have been in the past, but um you know, it's on my mind. Uh, we're representing, you know, USC, right? Southern California. Eh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm getting carried away. It's on my mind, but uh, that's not what we're here to talk about because today is a very special episode. Uh, joining the uh, studio for the first time today is Mr. Jamie Lloyds Curtis. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the show. We're very happy to have you here. And uh, making your, is this your third this appearance third on the action. show? Holy shit. First since Masters of the Air Guile. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. That was uh, just, uh, that was like an accidental podcast. That was a spur of the moment yeah. pod, and it, but that was a fan favorite. Really? Uh, well, we have fans? <laughs> <laughs> well, we, I mean, uh, there are, yeah, I have uh, a couple fans, uh, but it, uh, it spawned um, a stand up joke of mine. That's why I like that episode. Uh, the Civil War joke. Oh, Anyways, yeah. guys. Oh, it did. It's, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. Can I be privy? Uh, yeah, well, uh, yeah, if you went to one of Hunter's stand up shows, <laughs> watch stuff that you haven't. Wah, wah. Uh, I'll send you clips later. Um, guys. I'm very excited to have you here, Jamie. How are you? How are you feeling? I'm so are you good. Doing? I'm so excited to be here. Yeah. First podcast. Okay. I was I've been say, on some. I've been on radio before? shows because Emerson had radio shows. Okay. But never a podcast. Damn. You did live radio though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of stuff? Back on in live the day. radio. <laughs> Uh, just random friends shows. Like just, yeah. they were like hosting like music stations or like talk radio. A mixture of both. Okay. Um, Emerson is like well known for its radio station. They like also transmit out a professional radio station out of the same studios okay. that they record the studio or the student ones. Like to the greater Boston, to, to Boston, to area. Massachusetts. Yeah, that's um, sick. But the student ones, of course, are not like well listened to. <laughs> but they are like highly coveted spots. Yeah, you, you know, want to have that on your resume. Yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's cool. And we're gonna, you know, we're definitely gonna, uh, you know, we're gonna figure out how you ended up on this seat right now, and, yeah. and uh, we'll get to that. But that's you know, first, I just want to like, just want to chat. You know, falls in the air. It is. <laughs> it's getting a the little brisk equinox outside. Is Sunday. Really? Did you know this? Yeah. I did not know this. Do you know what it means? That means that we have as much daylight as wow. non-daylight. Wow, wow, yeah. Wow, we had to look it <laughs> up today. It. <laughs> I did. I know what an equinox is. Someone thought is. it was daylight saving. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, when is daylight saving? Though? That's November November 4th. Okay, that's 4th. my brother's birthday. We just looked it up. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> falls in the air. I was, I was, <laughs> I was hoping to know uh, your guys' favorite fall activities. What kind of fun fall stuff you like to do? Um, my personal favorite <laughs> is exploring Trader Joe's fall collection. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah they, they have some good. I don't know if you know their selection yet, but no. there's some really good what stuff. What kind of stuff you got going on there? Well, 
Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't they have? <laughs> they have pictures for me. And I will say they are paying me to say this, but is that true? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's part of the deal that Mary worked out. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah I got and you are signed. representing him now. Uh-huh. Yes, uh-huh. yes. And how's that? Is that affecting you um, things on the personal side of your guys' relationship, or not really? I think he would say <laughs> yes, but I think it's how it's always been. Interesting, <laughs> interesting reaction there for Jamie. I'm quite happy with the changes. Cool. Made. Well, because you're getting 15 percent now, right? <laughs> as opposed to zero, right? And, yeah. <laughs> and the Trader Joe's cut is nice. And what do they got at Trader Joe's that you okay, like? Okay, well, let me tell Fall you. Fall style. They have butternut squash oh, yeah. mac and cheese. Okay. And not only oh, that, yeah. but they have butternut squash mac and cheese bites. Okay. I do Both. love those mac and cheese bites. Yeah. And are you, uh, do you have, <laughs> do you have any dietary restrictions? <laughs> Shouldn't you ask this before he comes this on the podcast? This is an awesome show. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I literally, you saw my, you saw my, uh, What's it called? You saw my sheet for the green. I did. I got your rider. You saw my rider. Yeah. (laughs) So you saw that I'm vegetarian. (laughs) (laughs) No, I could tell by the green, the green room (laughs) snacks. (laughs) I thought you just liked tofu because of its taste. It also tastes good. Yeah, I don't mind it, but I think I've been a bit trained to like it. Okay, you've been I, vegetarian always. My whole life. Wow, yeah. interesting. Bit born and bred. That's kind of <laughs> cool, though. I think that is cool. It's it's probably good for your heart, right? Yeah, that's what they say. I mean, I've been told that I don't have to worry about my egg intake. Because I don't eat any meat. Okay. So my cholesterol so you can just slam eggs. Yeah. I, eat, <laughs> I eat a lot of eggs. And what's your go-to egg, dude? Hard-boiled? Fried? Scrambled? No, it shifts. It shifts with the seasons, I find. Sure. Um, recently, I've been liking soft-boiled. Oh, that's you ever nice. Had that? yeah. Yes, dude. Yeah. That used to be my favorite when I was sick. My mom would yeah, make that over some toast. It's, oh, so oh, good. So, so good. good. But you got to be very precise mm-hmm. in the timing there. It is. It is oh. precision precision and you have to be a little bit patient with the the shell peeling yeah 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 you know, or else you're yeah. chewing on eggshell dude. Yeah. <laughs> no I'm with you on not this fun. for sure yeah uh so you got butternut squash <laughs> at trader joe's yeah, yeah. see i uh i was at trader joe's <laughs> recently and uh they had those cinnamon sugar donuts out there oh and um, my favorite fall activity my entire life was the uh, the cider mill. Get some donuts at yeah. the cider mill. And is that a is that a place for you or? Yeah, well, so Michigan is like uh, I think behind Washington, the the Apple State. Really, so, yeah. not New York. I mean, I would have to. I just always assume I would have to New crunch York the numbers. Apples, oh, because of the Big Apple. <laughs> I mean, I'm, they're probably growing I mean, apples over there too. Yeah. Uh, I would sure hope so. <laughs> the stolen valor, stealing yeah. apple valor. <laughs> um, but we used to go to. Uh, I'm gonna sh- plug Verhaeg's Cider Mill in Kalamazoo, Michigan, two six nine, and they were just you know cranking apples out there, and they had where you could uh, they you could go and watch the apples get turned into cider get you know mushed up and squeezed into cider and they had fresh baked donuts every day you could see the conveyor belt line where they dipped them and oh my god the no donuts way. were so good dude and as a fat child <laughs> like like there was nothing but like get mom to pick me up from religious school early get out wow. of get out of hebrew school early Fuck yeah hit the freaking cider mill dude slam four five cider mill donuts yes oh that was a good sunday go watch the lions lose oh man it was nice um so i was at trader joe's they have cider donuts cider mill donuts yeah and these things are not anywhere near you know what i'm what I need to fully scratch that itch, but they smelled and tasted just enough to like unlock that. You know, they say scent is the sense most associated with memory. I know that. <laughs> and uh, it was Trust just enough me, to I smell that when I walked in here. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen the memories. Yeah, he, he was like, I've never been over here before. And then he stepped in and he's like, I'm home. I've been here. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> my childhood um, came flooding back. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. we're at, we're uh, we have the same candle as you had in your childhood home, and I knew that. It's actually my producer uh, you know what? looked up what scents you had in your childhood wow. home. Wow. And that's the, the kind of work we try to do. I, mean, yeah. I thought Hot Ones was good. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know, it's just when you step outside now and the air is brisk, mm. it's like, I like that. You're, you're calling <laughs> you're calling this brisk? <laughs> I mean, you're, I haven't, you're from Michigan. <laughs> full disclosure, I haven't been outside yet today. But last, last evening, yesterday evening, I was yeah. taking the young Charlie's Barkley on a walk. And uh, I got chills. I got shivers. And I know I am from Michigan. But in the short time that I've been here, I have completely lost the sensitivity to like assimilated. Yeah. 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 Once it it gets below, like it used to be it hit 50 shorts are out. Short sleeves are out. Now, if it drops down to below 60, I got to have sleeves everywhere. Wow. What is she up to? I'm just making sure she's not causing trouble. (laughs) This is, what, this is what she does when she doesn't get enough attention. She goes around and sees what she can destroy. Oh. But I want to spend a, just a little bit more time talking about fall traditions. Oh, I mean, let me. Yeah, please. We had something. We don't have cider mills. I've never heard of okay. that. But we do have a place called At- Atkins. Atkins. And it's a, it's an Amherst staple. It's this like one big grocery store where okay. their thing is they're based on orchards and apples. Okay. And they have also some of the. My personal favorite apple cider donuts. Okay. Ever, yeah, know? dude, that's just it's like, just oh, it fires me up. I get do you, do you like caramel apples. You ever like sweet yeah. treats? What What are your favorite sweet treats for fall? Yeah. Just, um, okay. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll move on. <laughs> <laughs> she's not used to being under the limelight. You know, she's she's been manager yeah, for a long time. Talent, yeah. yeah. Uh. Well, pumpkin patch. Are you ever pump? You guys oh. ever do? Fuck yeah. Are you guys going to do pumpkin patch activities? That's kind of like what kind of like fall day activities. Well, you never like hit the pumpkin patch? I like a haunted hayride. I don't know what that That's means. more my sweet. You've never gone to a pumpkin patch? Like, like they gone? I don't pumpkins? understand. Like, yeah, you, where they you grow love pumpkins. to be like, oh my God, like I grew up like around farms and blah, blah. And like you've never been to a cider mill, never been to a pumpkin, a pumpkin patch. Like, what did you do? Well, did you guys have uh, sugar houses? <laughs> <laughs> well, what's a sugar house? <laughs> like where they make maple I syrup? I think I did. No, no. Where they make maple syrup? We I weren't. Uh, actually, I think we we probably did have some kind of sap, but probably not like the East yeah, Coast. Yeah, that that was kind of our version okay. of a cider mill. That's like, like okay, that's cool. Because you go there and you see them make the maple syrup, yeah. and you eat pancakes with okay. the maple syrup. That's and nice. There's like farm animals and blah 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 blah. blah. Yeah. You okay. Know, yeah. So, yeah. Same thing. But no, but they weren't growing pumpkins out front there where you could go and there'd be just hundreds of pumpkins like, for you to and, choose and then from. You, you pick, you your pick up your favorite. Yeah. You find one that you Fine. love and you're going to care for. I I never yeah. experienced that. They had a yeah. corn maze. They had a really big corn maze. Okay, that was that what was I was like, going to ask about next. Maze. And it was always a new design. And from above, you know, yeah. it was like a picture of yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, very yeah. topical. Yeah. yeah. It was good. Uh... <laughs> I I got lost in a corn maze once, and it was oh, one man. of the scariest uh, experiences of my life. Yeah. It's scary, it's you really know. Scary. And then I finally got out of the maze, and it was like they were like filming like <laughs> uh, like news. Like, <laughs> so I like walk out, and I run like smack into like a lady who's like this, and I was like, "Where's my mom?" I'm so scared. <laughs> I need to see that. Yeah, we gotta that find footage. that clip. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I like the fall, dude. I'm a fall boy. What's your favorite season? I am summer. Okay. I'm summer all summer the way. Boys, splishing yeah. and splashing around. Well, let's talk about uh, let's talk about Massachusetts. Oh yeah, let's take the it back. The greatest state of all. Is, it, is that true? <laughs> Will you stand by that? The greatest state in the union is Massachusetts. And now I have to stand by it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wait. How it. many states have you been to? Wow, that would be a hard <laughs> number like Massachusetts. to. <laughs> Massachusetts and California. And <laughs> That's it. No. <laughs> no, I've been to a lot because I actually one time drove down from Massachusetts to Texas. Cool. Uh, and the worst road trip of my life. Really? So, it wasn't good? No, no, Why no. is that? It was with my family. And originally... <laughs> <laughs> Enough said. Yeah. No, uh, no it, was, it was originally supposed to be a flight down to Florida. Okay. Okay. So, okay. A better it's mode of transportation <laughs> and a better destination. In my I really can't wait to find out like how a flight to Florida turned into a drive into to Texas. <laughs> yeah. Right. I, I wanted to find out the same yeah, thing. Yeah, you were curious as well. Um, and how old were you? This, I must have been 
12, 13, okay. something oh, like that. Shit. Like middle school or whatever it okay. is. That yeah. sucks, dude. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, and it was uh the one good part was we we did stop at Hershey, Pennsylvania. Okay, that was our first stop. Nice. And we picked up about fifty pounds of chocolate, chocolate, and that kind of sustained. Like I think my parents did it on purpose, so yeah. that we're driving down and just eating chocolate. They're like, anytime someone was complaining, it's like have some chocolate. Yeah, you know. And then load you up on chocolate. You might get a little, you know, antsy, fidgety, annoying, but then you'll sugar crash hard and hopefully kill and just six hours or whatever yeah, on yeah, that yeah, drive. Yeah, exactly. Okay, exactly. so you're driving. Where's the destination in Texas? Uh, Dallas. That's Dallas. where my cousins live. Okay. And my grandma was staying <laughs> okay. with my cousins. So. Gotcha. Yeah. And the Florida trip was originally just supposed to be... Uh, it was supposed to be see my grandma. Okay. She was, she was okay. in Florida and then... It turned out she was going to be in Texas, so we had to go to Texas because yeah. it was like a spring break kind of thing. Got know? it. Yeah. Damn. So you uh, stopped through some states for that one. We though. stopped for sure. And one of my favorite stops was in New Orleans because little did we the know. <laughs> little did we know. But when we <laughs> when we drove in, we had this like vegetarian restaurant. Sure. Destination sure. Mine. It's yeah. recommended. You know, On the Garmin. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we're driving through like the middle of New Orleans. And all of a sudden, we come across, like, an actual parade. Yeah, sure. Because <laughs> yeah. they just do those, like, every day, right? Well, maybe, yes. But it was also <laughs> it was also because it was Mardi Gras. <laughs> and we didn't know. So it was a big parade. It, it was, was a rather large parade. Festivity. There was no end to this parade. Yeah, right. Okay. And, and I would say their biggest parade. The, the <laughs> biggest sort of parade. the reason everyone's there, yeah. And we should have known because, you know, the Superdome is down there. Yeah, and yeah. They, like, color it, you know, based on right. what holiday it is. And yeah. it was the Mardi Gras colors. Right. And, we should have like seen that and had the clue, but mapped the separate route around New yeah. Orleans, perhaps. Yeah, and not gone into the center of New Orleans. <laughs> yeah, so downtown. <laughs> so we happened to run into the parade, uh, coming from this tiny little alley that was barely like one car wide, and we run right into it. <laughs> and, <laughs> and this guy turns around and he sees us like in our predicament, and he's like, "It's okay, I'm a parking attendant. Let me help you." And he nice. starts like helping us in probably a twenty-three point turn nice. to get out of this alley because <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't go forward. Yeah, right. You know? yeah. And before it's Bourbon Street, and yeah, there's yeah. trumpets and trombones. Yeah. <laughs> Insane. And just open carry, right? Isn't that the oh, world's thing? Know. I think yeah. you can just drink no, you on can the street just, there. Like, literally, Is that right? yeah. Drink wow. on the street, like just a cup open, God. splashing around. The party never stops. I'm pretty sure they're Splash. pretty lax about. Public nudity there as well. I, I gotta so. go. There. I think at least <laughs> on Bur- get back. Bourbon Street um, is yeah. like literally no rules. <laughs> <laughs> it's anarchy. It's one street of anarchy. Is that like the street in New Orleans? Yeah, that's I like, like the main, the main, uh, main you know, drag. the main drag down yeah, there. Yeah. The Big Easy down Norway. I <laughs> wish I had a Cajun, Cajun accent, dude. It's the best down Norland's way. Um, but okay, so would you define yourself as a masshole? Is that a derogatory term? What do you think about is it that derogatory? term? Um, is it is there pride you know, associated I've, I've, with that? I've leaned a lot more into it okay. since moving to LA, primarily okay. because of driving. I yeah, mean, yeah. Here's the nobody thing: nobody here knows how to damn drive. <laughs> nobody here knows how to drive. It's <laughs> fucking crazy. Uh, no, I'm not even from Boston, you know, okay. which is where the mass holes okay. are. I'm from Got Western it. Mass, and we're a little more known for like. Are lesbians and hippies? <laughs> I'm so honest. I'm so honest. Like, okay. I don't know if you've heard of Northampton. No, no explain it's, Northampton. It's to uh, me. Smith College is there, an all women's school. Yeah, Veep. Veep, Veep exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yes. Emily Dickinson. Uh, Emily Dickinson. Em- cool. Emily Dickinson is from Amherst. Okay, her, cool. Her house was like a subject of many field trips. Sure. As a kid. Really, multiple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, they love talking about it. <laughs> You know how you kind of like did U.S. history every other year? Yeah. <laughs> it was the same with Emily Dickinson. Dickinson history. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. That's crazy. And um, uh, she she the one that put her head in the oven? Sylvia no, Black. Who Sylvia went Black. to Smith. <laughs> <laughs> nice okay sorry continue uh but northampton, yeah, northampton has has rainbow crosswalks you know oh and basically yes. consists and my parents you know we don't live in northampton yeah. but it's kind of this area it consists of a lot of people who were part of the queer scene in new york in like the 80s and 90s okay. and they were like they're growing old and they yeah. moved to the valley Got and it. it is just like 
so many people <laughs> yeah, from fun. New York who grew up like were kids in New York yeah. and now they're in they're like we gotta get out of this city yeah. this city's fucking going to yeah. Giuliani's yeah. turning this city to shit we gotta get the <laughs> fuck out of here Go planes coming in <laughs> <laughs> what? Huh? Huh? <laughs> um, but so, am I a asshole? Um, yeah when it comes to driving I love yelling at people with yeah. a bit of a Boston Nay, accent yeah. you know yeah. uh, I like to say that in, in LA Everyone drives, you know, everyone <laughs> yeah. has to drive. You have uh-huh. to drive. And yeah. so you have ev- one of everyone on the road and that's why there's bad drivers in Boston. Everyone is a dick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. So they're also, but they're also good drivers because okay. not everyone has to drive. Yeah. So there's like public transportation. Um, so are the roads made for horses? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> are the drivers assholes? <laughs> for sure. Yes. But are they actually good drivers who yeah. know what they're doing? Yeah. For the most part, yeah. yeah. There's a higher baseline yeah. skill level. That's cool. Yeah. And uh, public school? Yeah. Over in Amherst? Yeah, Amherst Regional High School. Amherst Regional yeah. High School. ARHS and your mascot was the? Hurricanes. The Hurricanes! Yeah. yeah. I like the Hurricanes. That's kind Pretty of cool, fun. Right? Did you ever get hit by a hurricane when you were over there? Uh, East Coast? I don't know if they Sandy ever classified them as hurricanes okay. by the time they got up to tropical us. storms. But tropical storms for sure, for sure. Damn. Yeah. And uh, you guys got a fair amount of snow there too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh Lots yeah. Of snow. Got a lot Lots of snow, snow there. And what did you like? What What did you? What kind of kid were you in school? <laughs> <laughs> I want to know. I was actually. Was um, like. I was a very shy kid. You're quiet and very, very uh, self conscious. Okay. Yeah. For the entirety, K through twelve. More or less, yeah. yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I think I think you know once you're when you're with you know it's it's a small school district. So okay. when you're with the same people yeah. for like eight years, yeah, it's kind of hard to break out of your mold for sure. So I think I I like I switched to college and I came back and saw my high school friends and they were like, "Whoa, dude, nice, guy. To, <laughs> nice to see you coming out of your yeah. school." A little bit. <laughs> That's uh, cool. Yeah. Did you do like sports? What did you do? I I did gymnastics. Yes, dude, yeah. you were a gymnast. I Let's was a gymnast go. for most of my childhood until freshman Whoa. year of high school. Until Very year cool. Of high school, yeah. What were your events? I did all of them. I did all of them. No when way. you're when you're that young, you don't yeah. like, choose. It's you just do it. Damn. Yeah. What did you like the most? I was a big uh, pommel horse guy. Yeah, I could see you spinning yeah. around, <laughs> there, dude, <laughs> flying around. Uh, I always wanted to uh, do the uneven bars. Yeah, that is not a guy's event. (laughs) 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 Nobody told me that. Why? Why is that? Why do they only let women do that? Well, you know. (laughs) Win. Yeah. Uh, The guys have the parallel bars. We have it a little bit easier, you know. And it's like the same as uneven, except they're closer together and parallel. God, I didn't know that was only women. (laughs) Um. Uh man, can you still do like gymnastic feats? Can you flip? Were you? Could you? Yeah, ever flip? yeah, I can flip. I can flip. God right. damn. But it does come with like That's a heavy I've never price. Seen him flip. It comes with a heavy price, yeah. as in like you'll feel it in as the morning. In, I'll feel it right then. I'll, I, will, <laughs> I will be in the emergency room within an hour. But you can pull it off. <laughs> but I can do some of it. Yeah. I also grew six inches since I did gymnastics. That makes you so, a little less uh, yeah, it's, mobile in it's the air. Quite harder. Damn. I always wanted to flip. You know, I always thought that was yeah. the coolest thing you could ever do would be to backflip. What held you back? Um, weight. <laughs> <laughs> Coordination, mostly. Uh, I skied a lot, but I never was a, like a park skier. Um, but I had friends that were... You were never a park skier. What is that? Mean? Like, I'm sorry, Charlie's about to rip the microphone out of the uh, switcher. Um, Charlie. Okay, nice. Um... So there's like uh, terrain parks where they're like the ramps oh, yeah, and the yeah, rails yeah. and stuff. And my friends that did that, they would like practice on uh, like the the gymnastic trampolines that like launch oh, you really? up. To yeah, to, like, to work on their aerial okay, shit. Okay, okay. And uh, I liked mostly just bouncing on the trampoline. <laughs> <laughs> I could do like a 360 sometimes, yeah. <laughs> but uh, if it wasn't into a pool, I usually got pretty scared when I would invert myself. I just could only picture 
spinal injury. Yeah. Um, it I, is I scary. think that held me back. It's yeah. A, aerial stuff is really hard. Yeah, yeah. dude. Freaked yeah. me out. Uh, but so, yeah, did you ever do like that kind of stuff? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I did in gymnastics and men's gymnastics. There's levels. <laughs> That's okay. how they classify there's you. There's levels to this. Shit. Yeah, <laughs> literally, literally, there's <laughs> levels. Uh, so you start like the lowest level for whatever reason is level four. <laughs> gotcha. And the highest is ten. Oh. And then there's like college collegiate okay. gymnastics. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. It's really weird. It doesn't make any sense. Was there but ever a point where you're like, I could go college? No. No. Honestly, I... Especially not when you got tall. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's... I mean, to be honest, I didn't get tall until after I quit gymnastics. Okay. Um, but I was tall to begin with. Like, I was still tall for a gymnast. Okay. Because gymnasts are so short. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's yeah. crazy. It's hilarious. Uh, and not only that, but I started late for a gymnast. Okay, because which is gymnasts, when gymnasts are young. Like yeah, right. Simone Biles was like 18, yeah. 17, something yeah. like that, you know? Right. Uh, I started on a team probably, I want to say like nine or 10. Okay. But all of my teammates at the I same level as me five. were like three years younger. Okay. Yeah. Wow, wait, okay. So Damn. I was at like a disadvantage. So you were sure. hanging out with six year olds as a yeah, ten year old. I was like, never, this fucking sucks. I was never like a breakout star either. Yeah, you know? right. <laughs> <laughs> Just being honest. I was never crazy good. Yeah. Um, okay, well, so, uh, like, what did you, you did the other stuff in school, right? Well, you, you weren't just you had another sport. hitting the books. I had two other really sports. Oh, yeah. Well, let's sure. talk yeah, about Mary it, really wants Yeah, me to can we hit it. his talking points, please? Yeah. I think please. I said can we, yeah. we kind of get back to the questions yeah. we let's, planned out? <laughs> <laughs> replanned interview. Okay, what other no, sports I'm did you play? Kidding. I love this shit. Uh, I, so when I quit gymnastics, I grew six inches. <laughs> yeah. I basically grew to the height that I am now. Yeah. And, and what year was that? How old were you? That was been? just after my freshman year. Like okay. I had not hit my growth spurt before gotcha. that. I was short, honestly, okay. compared to my yeah. peers. And I grew a bunch and I decided, okay, I've worked on strength my whole life. Yeah. Let me go to aerobics yeah. <laughs> and work on endurance and <laughs> do the one thing that I really can't do at yeah. all. So I started cross country. Nice. And Running long distance. Yeah. yeah. Which was just <laughs> awful. The worst thing <laughs> so ever horrible, in the world. So yeah. horrible. It was the worst. Uh, and then, <laughs> and then that ended in the fall and I was like, okay, what's next? Uh, yes. What do they have for the winter? And in New England, they have indoor track. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which you would think means you run indoors. Inside, yeah. Uh, no, it means <laughs> <laughs> it means the meats are inside. The meats start inside, as in like. No, no, the meats are inside, but none of the practices, and you're in the <laughs> middle of New England winter, gotcha. running around, fucking yeah. like all these skinny white boys. Yeah, let's yeah. be honest, it was well, like a lot of that, yeah. and. It was horrible. We, he hated we it. Freezed our asses off. Yeah. yeah. Was there some kind of trauma bonding happening there with your oh, teammates? Oh, for sure. For it brought sure. you closer yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. There were some yeah. of us who like really didn't like it, and we're just there to kind of have yeah. a physical activity. Right. Get and out of we, gym class. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I don't That's, think that, that was, was even a requirement. Our, our for thing us. at our school is you had to take gym unless you were a varsity uh, letterman. Oh, really? And you could get out of gym class. Oh, we did not have that. Four-year varsity letterman over here. Woo! What did you, what, what'd you do that? So Football? I was on the. I, Never made varsity in football. Okay. Uh, you know, blew out my knee before I could. Oh really shit! <laughs> uh, and I was I stopped getting big and strong, and all my friends got really big and strong. Uh, and I was like, I'm not having any fun. Yeah. yeah I was yeah. getting hit a lot. <laughs> I got a couple not concussions. Fun. I was like, I gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> uh, but I was on the ski team. And uh, had similar experiences to, I think, your winter cross country mm. pra or track practices where it was just like people that I like some of, some of my favorite memories and friends from high school uh, just being so cold together and just being like, this sucks. Yeah. <laughs> why, why did we do yeah. this? Uh, but, you know, there's something kind of romantic about it, you know, like glamorous. Like, ah, we struggled. Together. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I think it's the same thing that the reason that people like fraternities, which, uh, you know, yeah. I never did. Yeah, I never did. <laughs> I, I never did either. Mm -hmm. Oh man, we got a bunch of losers on this show. Yeah. <laughs> a bunch of lame nerds. God, we didn't peak in college. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> um, so you ran track. What did you ever? Were you fast? Could no, you, uh, I was. I mean, you know, I did fine. 
Yeah, I do, do you still run today? I do run. I do run. I run. I try to run every like, day. I never reached the point where I never got a runner's high. And yeah. I love getting high. So yeah. I, think if I, I think if I got that, you I would might know. really like running. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it never hit me. I mostly just hated it. Um, yeah. I yeah. mostly hated it too. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. And then, okay, I just want to know like, are you doing like student government? Are you doing like. Uh, well, let me be year. honest. Yeah. I was doing three sports a year, so I didn't. So you didn't have much. To, okay. and, the, and the third sport. Oh yeah. Oh, so okay. I'm sorry. Was uh, was spring sports, and in <laughs> in uh, in Amherst, there's one sport <laughs> that you would not particularly uh, expect. Okay. And I kind of want to let you guess. guess, based on what I've said about Amherst being a hippie kind of yes. town. Yes. Um, rowing, not, not quite. Not no, it didn't actually have far rowing. Too preppy. Yeah, far too way preppy. Way too preppy. Okay. Way, way too mainstream. Hacky lacrosse. Sack. No, no. Honestly, no. Not warm at all. We we did have lacrosse at the school, but I did not. You play. did not play. No. I'm trying to think of other spring sports uh, that our boys play. Golf. It is so like it is so out of left field. Like you, it's not one of the mainstream ones. <laughs> I'll be honest. <laughs> Can I have a hint? <laughs> it does not involve a ball. Okay. But it does involve something else that is used in place of a ball. Uh, oh, that was a good first letter. Field hockey? Oh, no. Frisbee. 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 Ultimate okay, frisbee. Ultimate, yeah, yeah, ultimate. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I have a... We're going to talk about ultimate frisbee. <laughs> you better believe that. But this is where you this is where you started playing uh, ultimate. No, it's where I started playing ultimate frisbee. Yeah. And you liked it. You guys had a full was there you had like a conference with other schools that yeah. played ultimate? Well, you know, Amherst is where ultimate became a big sport. Wow. It's not where it was invented, I guess, and yeah. people from I think it's New Jersey or Pennsylvania will say like very strongly yeah. it was not invented. But it was made big at UMass Amherst. Cool. And it, as a result, like the trickle down from that sure. means that like the people, you know, it was invented like 60 years ago. Yeah, yeah, so the right. people who like first played it are now parents <laughs> yeah, to kids. Yeah, right. and, and they were like, you're playing Frisbee. <laughs> you yeah, know? You're playing so, yeah. so I kid you not, my school had both a guys and a girls Frisbee team. Sick. Each with varsity, JVA, and JVB. Damn. So That's we had like dope. 60 guys and 60 yeah. girls playing You took Frisbee. that shit serious. Yeah, it was Yeah, wow, insane. you were a bunch of hippies out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's hundreds of ultimate Frisbee players. <laughs> and, and it was fierce competition in Massachusetts, bet, too. It was kind of messed. I bet. Yeah. But there's not like a pro league yet for there this. Is, there is. There is. There is. Yeah, oh, wait, there is. yeah. Uh, that they, guy, MKBHD. Yeah, Marquez. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's. They, uh, they just changed the name of it. I forget what the new name is, but the old name was the AUDL. Uh, the old American Ultimate Disc League. Disc League. Yeah, I was gonna say, is there? Because I had friends that were. <laughs> so we had a disc golf team. Yeah. And we were state champion disc golf. Yeah. Uh, there was three teams competing Wait, for the state championship. <laughs> uh, I've always wanted to play disc golf. I've never played it. Yeah, my like my best friend, uh, Cash, uh, was uh, super into it and and very good at it. Uh, and I used it as an excuse to get high in the woods outside of our school. <laughs> uh, awesome. But there was a, there was a, you shouldn't, they didn't like it when you said Frisbee. Yeah. No, they yeah. hate it. They you got to call it, it yeah. a disc. Yeah, Is there the yeah, same yeah. thing with Ultimate? Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't you care. Can't give a but shit. It's the people same were picky thing. and other sports love to talk shit about Frisbee. Yeah. Like the lacrosse kids. Oh would man, be there's like, beef there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because lacrosse is also, I don't know if you know this, but lacrosse was at one time an Olympic sport I and got taken that. off. Yes, <laughs> Just yes. like breakdancing. <laughs> Probably because of the Australians. Again, too. Yeah. We'll have to yeah. assume. You should have seen the way the Australians are playing. <laughs> they fucked it up. Uh, uh, okay, so you're playing frisbee. <laughs> You're playing frisbee with your fr frisbee does sound just like less of a sport and yeah. more just something but, that you but just fucking go. Think about out talking about ultimate, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like just as a word, you know. <laughs> well, I play <laughs> ultimate, ultimate <laughs> player. Uh, no, that's sick. I think it's cool, but I, I want to know: Were you doing like so? You eventually you go to Emerson, yeah, to study film, yeah, and you go there knowing you're going to study film. Uh -huh. So when does that start? Like knowing that I want to do film, yeah. Um, I would say that I quit gymnastics largely to have time to do film cool. stuff. Okay, you're because making I videos. Knew, I knew it was, it was an interest, you yeah. know, but I just was like, 
okay, am I going to college for gymnastics? <laughs> Not no. gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> Could I go to college for film? I can Which make is that equally happen. like. <laughs> <laughs> You know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? I could do that. Yeah. So, so you're making videos. Yeah. My my school actually like luckily enough had a couple film classes. Nice. So that is I, nice. I took all of those, okay. and that's kind of really where my interest. Yeah. And you had and you have buddies in there that were like uh, like hey we get along we like this shit this is fun in, in high school and yeah in the film classes. Ah. Uh, I guess kind of, not <laughs> yeah. really. A lot okay. of kids who did it just kind of did it because you had to fill a requirement. Another class you know? to take, yeah. yeah. Uh, there were some people that were more into it, and cool. that was fun to like work with them. But I honestly don't. None of I them don't know went if, on. To yeah, I think one that. other person, this girl Julia, went to Emerson. She was the year behind me. Okay, and she also like did film in, in high school too. Yeah, but cool. So you get to Emerson now. We get to talk about Emerson. Boston, Boston, <laughs> Boston, and uh, well, do you have a Massachusetts accent no, or anything? No, no. I, I, I can, I can pull off a kind of, sort of one, yeah. but I honestly think it's somewhere in between a Boston and a New York accent. Yeah, because I'm horrible at accents. Because I'm just <laughs> like fucking somewhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. I feel you. I get lost in them, but uh, I do love hearing it whenever I it's hear a good someone accent. Get it. It's a, a good nice. Boston yeah. accent, and <laughs> not many people actually have it. Right, you know? it's dying. Yeah, <laughs> we it's gotta dying save accent. it. We have to preserve yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, how did you like living in Boston? I loved it for for college. I loved yeah. it. Yeah, it was great. I toured Emerson. I strongly considered oh, really? uh, going there. Yeah. Did you apply? Um, yeah, I got. I got. Uh, I could have. You know, I don't want to brag. I could have gone there for free. Uh, oh, you they, went to the rare. honors program or what? They gave me a full scholarship. Wow. Yeah. Wow. What? Uh, I've never heard of a full scholarship at Emerson. That's yes. crazy. Sixty-two thousand dollars. Uh, give me. Uh, not full. It's like seventy thousand. Uh, well, I would have had to cover it's the probably last tuition. Eight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you would have had to cover yeah. room and board. Yeah, yeah. room and like board was on, another eighteen. Like we'll one. get you on that. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I liked Boston a lot. I had visited a few times. Uh. Was so. Uh, do you f- care about Boston sports at all? I do care about the Celtics. Okay, the uh, Celtics. Yeah, it was. This was a great year. This was. Yeah, amazing. dude. But I will say this. Um, I happened to go to Boston in a four-year dry spell for any Boston yeah. sport, and that was the worst thing. Like literally 2019, I think the Red Sox won. Yeah. Or 2018. 18, yeah. Whatever, whatever that yeah, year yeah. was before, and. And you show, and it was hype. Yeah, like I, I hear about yeah. it from all the kids just above yeah. me. They were like climbing, you know, fucking street yeah, lamps. It was yeah, insane. Yeah. And then I go to school. The pandemic hits. Yeah. No wins. No, no wins one. for four yeah. years. And then the year after, the Celtics win. And and I there is a there. that is a very particular type of like ah oh, fuck that's annoying. I unfortunately have no sympathy for any Boston sports fans I figured you didn't. who have seen 27 world championships across the four major sports since I've been alive. Yeah. <laughs> and excluding Michigan's national championship, yeah. which doesn't have an asterisk, by the way, for anybody listening. I've seen Absolutely. zero of my teams, which meant that as a child, <laughs> what are you, are you all Michigan all the way or do you Yeah, have Tigers, other... Lions, Pistons. Okay. Um, and Red Wings, I guess. I don't give a fuck about hockey. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, because the, my like, I was a huge Tom Brady fan. Yeah. So I liked the Patriots. Yeah. I had Patriots bedspread at one point. No way. Yeah, I'm afraid to admit that. I feel like every wow guy I've met like had like a Patriots phase. Yeah, What's the Patriots Tom Brady was the go? Huh? Okay, because from Massachusetts, you know, of course it was Tom Brady. Yeah, yeah. Tom yeah. Brady, this Tom Brady. I didn't realize that you know he was went like to Michigan, right? What? Tom Brady went to Michigan. Did he actually? Yes. I he did was, not know this. He was groomed at the greatest football, college <laughs> football program in the history of the entire world. Uh, well, I, the winningest I, team. The winningest program. I would have never time. known that he was such a big like yeah. national player. Yeah, yeah. You know, I kind of just was like, oh, he's Massachusetts. Yeah, everybody loves him here. Yeah, because everyone had a Brady shirt, you know, growing yeah, up. Yeah, right. But I, it took me until like honestly high school to understand that His he was impact. actually like everywhere. Well, he was, I think, mostly unanimously hated outside of yes. Boston. Yes. Uh, because he beat everybody's team every single year. <laughs> um, but I loved him uh, in part because he went to Michigan, and in part because I was like, holy shit, this guy's fucking dope. Yeah. Um, and I, after my Tigers 
made it clear that they weren't ever going to win anything. Uh, I liked the Red Sox. And for, oh. my, for my bar mitzvah present, my grandparents took me to Boston and we went to Fenway Park. No Have way. Have you been to Fenway Park? You want to hear something crazy? Yeah. I haven't. Oh, <laughs> you should go. It's really cool. I, I really should. I spent four years at college yeah. there. And, I, and they have something called the Nines, the Student Nines, which is like okay. really cheap uh, Fenway Little tickets. Student tickets? Yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah. And I never took advantage of it. It was one of I my think it's, biggest misses. Yeah. There's just so much like history there. And it's just uh, it's a fun place to watch a ball game. I think even if you're not a big baseball fan, it's cool yeah. there. Yeah, for sure. Um, how do we get on this? I don't remember. Oh, yeah. Just Emerson. Um, I liked. So I really liked Boston. I'm a big history kind of oh, yeah. nerd. So I, I liked uh, just, you know, seeing the history of it's the city. It's crazy for that. Um, yeah. Ultimately, the reason I didn't go is because they didn't have uh, like any good like sports teams i understand they have a basketball that's team why you now. didn't go to to emerson, emerson yeah, yeah. yeah yeah we i mean we have, have a frisbee team we do have oh, a yeah, frisbee team have. actually right regional but champs baby. is that but is that a varsity sport or is that club no that's club yeah. um the varsity sports you know we they have sports yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sports yeah. that, that's about yeah. all you can say yeah you know, they deliver, there's no football team yeah I think the women's, that wasn't gonna do the women's soccer team won my senior year, I think it was. And okay. that was, like, huge. It was, like, That's they nice. won the regional yeah. or something, I don't know, for D3. And that that was impressive. But other than that, you know, sports were so, like, yeah, no one talked about yeah, it. Yeah, who gives yeah. a fuck? <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, I do, uh, I respect that to a degree. Yeah. But that wasn't going to fly for old Hunter. Yeah, old no. pal, boy. You're, you're a little too sports uh, oriented. I needed it, dude. I needed to go to a football game. <laughs> um, but is there? We I have a game for us to play. No if way. you guys are interested, yeah. but uh, I love well, games. Is there anything else you want to talk about, Emerson? Do you want to talk about any projects, any people, or we can just say fuck all that? Yeah, let's play this game. Noise. All that noise. Yeah. Um. So this game, I I really hope you like it. I the idea came to me. Uh, as soon as I heard your full name for the first time, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I, you know, the 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 game admittedly is built entirely off of uh, its name, and it it wasn't until about ten thirty eight this morning that I figured mm. out what the game would be. There we go. But it's gonna be fun. Let me get the screen share going here. I um, also yeah, I was like, wait, are we just watching an episode of Adventure? <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't know if the audience no, at no. home can see, but yeah, I don't think they we can. are in episode 19 of season four of Adventure. Yeah, Time, our, so. uh, our, my old, my buddies, um, fucking forget about it. Forget <laughs> yeah, it's not hundred. You don't, you don't have to talk about it. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, if we, if we do get to the point, <laughs> you, <laughs> sent, you sent photos in for this no, one? No, I think he found my photos online. <laughs> I, have, I have photos from, that's from the hot chocolate run. Which is <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the people at, uh, that are listening don't edition. know uh, what's going on yet. Your full name is uh, Jamie Loix Curtis. Yes. And the first time, uh, before I had even met you, uh, when I asked Mary about, uh, you know, her new f friend, <laughs> I said, Who, who's this character's name? Friend, it's, it's a purely business. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Client. Client. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. She said, well, yeah, I said, who's your new client? And she said, Jamie L. Curtis. <laughs> and I said, holy shit, what a big get. <laughs> I was confused too. Yeah. Like that was the thing is I thought I thought that's who I was saying. No, she thought this was the beginning of her career in entertainment. <laughs> yeah, right. She, yeah. Little did she like, know. Like, her winner. She's looking for a new team. <laughs> yeah, new yeah, new opportunities. No, you said Jamie Loix Curtis, and I and you said the Loix kind of fast, and I said, hold on, I'm sorry. You're seeing a guy named Jamie Lee Curtis. Yeah, I wasn't confident said, no, about the pronunciation. Loix. Yeah, right. That's and so she I said, fast. wow, that's very cool and very interesting to me. So I thought. What's a game? He immediately was like, how can I make this a bit on my podcast? <laughs> this is a podcast segment. This has been long planned. So longtime listeners of the show will remember we played Sagana versus Sigourney uh, on the Mary episode. Oh. Uh, <laughs> and that was a game pitting uh, former New York Knicks center Sagana Jop versus... <laughs> Uh, Hollywood starlet uh, Sigourney Weaver, and I, I kind of 
ran Mary Hep through scenarios and okay. had her pick whether you would rather have Sagana or Sigourney <laughs> in that scenario. So today we're playing Loix versus Lee, Jamie Curtis edition. <laughs> Yes, and the uh, the premise of this game is largely the same. I'm going to present you with uh, five scenarios or scenarios, depending on if you're pretentious. Yeah, scenarios. <laughs> yeah. Um, and you guys are going to tell me uh, in Jamie Curtis terms whether <laughs> Loix or Lee would be a better fit, you know, to to achieve a desirable outcome in said scenario. Mm. Now, I didn't know if you wanted to like sort of go to bat for yourself on every <laughs> scenario and maybe I could play devil's advocate and then Mary pick a winner or if I just would present these scenarios to you and you both wanted to unbiased uh, pick who you think I am very unbiased when it okay. comes to myself so um, I'll just present them yeah. to you both and you guys yeah, can yeah, let yeah. me know alright well this is very fun uh, the first two scenarios are just kind of uh, you know <laughs> calibration uh, warm ups there should be fairly softballs before we get into the real ones uh, so Phew. we'll start with uh, scenario one Ultimate Frisbee <laughs> Collegiate Championship. Ultimate Frisbee Collegiate Championship. Final possession. Scoring a goal clinches the game and the season. Which explosive playmaker are you looking for to uh, sort of hang that banner, take home the trophy? I have a question. Yeah, like, please. Did you make this? You made this? Yes, I made this. So why were you confused? Why didn't you guess Frisbee? What do you mean? For his sport. Oh, uh, I just I kind point. of thought that was something that you just sort of uh, stumbled upon in college. Oh, I just yeah. I didn't think that would be something that a high school would have a varsity letter yeah, for, which yeah. is cool. I think very that's cool. Sorry, East Coast. It's a great question. It's a good question. Just to make sure that like I'm presenting my client. It's a bit of a mean question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's looking out for my best interest. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, so I mean. You'd go Loix in this situation, right? It has to uh, be. Yeah. Has to be, <laughs> has to be. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Lee is I probably... literally have played in a Ultimate Frisbee Collegiate. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, and and Jamie we Lee, we we and you took home the trophy. There. What year trophy. was that? That was 2019. God damn, that's awesome. That uh, I didn't know I was talking to a, a champion. Yep, regional uh, champ. <laughs> <laughs> regional champ. D three, D three, dude. College mixed, Club mixed Frisbee. ultimate Club Frisbee. <laughs> dude, a ring is a fucking ring. Yo. A chip is a chip. I like it was my a big trophy a too. Was yeah, a trophy. no, yeah. I believe yeah. it. And uh, who's to say if Jamie Lee has even fucking thrown a frisbee and in at, and her, a, her age now? Yeah. Like, uh -uh. I'm sorry. I just like. I can't. Uh -uh. And it's interesting you say that because this next scenario uh, is going to sort of ask you to imagine a world where it's oh, 1978. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're a Hollywood casting director looking to find the next uh, scream queen for John Carpenter's uh, slasher horror thriller. You're down to your final two candidates, a promising starlet and daughter of two Hollywood golden age mainstays and a young go-getter with a chip on his shoulder out of Western Mass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Who are I'm you sorry. going it's here? Like, it's 1978. Like I'm going Nepo, baby. Yeah, you gotta go. Yeah. Like, also, you? come on, you're from Massachusetts. Yeah, and like I think I think you could have done good things with the script. I don't I don't doubt that you would have read well in the room on the day, but y you know I just got to imagine that 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 role itself is probably more in Lee's alley. Yeah. Jamie Curtis was. And, like, and I just don't know if you could like keep up with like the fame and the like everything that would come after. Him. Yeah. Right, right. And I'm trying to think about how they would get the good audio from my mom's stomach and <laughs> it just like I don't think it's very feasible. Yeah, it wouldn't yeah. work. So uh, okay, so those are the two warm-ups now we kind of know okay, this is how okay. the game works. These are easy ones. I like imagining a world where it's 1970. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. Just, yeah. Uh so now we're going to move on to uh scenario 3 and uh it's going to get a little harder. Uh, scenario three, a real life. So now we're throwing the guise of movies out of the door. A real life incarnation of pure evil manifesting as an oversized mechanic in a William Shatner mask and uh, wielding a chef's knife is terrorizing your hometown. Perhaps on Halloween, perhaps not. It's really not important. You must pick one person to confront this malevolent force and hopefully save your town from, well, extinction? 
Loix or Lee? Jesus. Um, <laughs> I, I gotta say, <laughs> I think it's I think it's Lee. You think it's Lee? I mean, she just has so much. Even if it's fake world experience, yeah. she at least has the experience. Yeah. You know, and she would know. <laughs> she would have some how many kind of strategy. People died in Halloween, though. Like a few. <laughs> I don't fucking know. I haven't seen that Do movie in forever. Could- could have like a lower number than yeah that. could you bring the kill count lower yeah. than what well Lori I, I would say this it, in, if i remember halloween well yeah you know there, there's a lot of elements that you kind of watch it and you're like yeah. i wouldn't have done that yeah you know like a logical that? person yeah, yeah, yeah. would have fucking you know, yeah exactly, got a good head exactly. On I, I do think uh i probably would have saved more people okay that's nice and, and that's why i'm going likes okay and in this scenario you also babysat uh, young Michael Myers uh, in his um, youth. I don't know if that changes anything. It's just uh, <laughs> world building, I guess. Um, so no, you're going Loikes. You're he, going Loikes. Yeah, I'm going yeah. Loikes. I'm going to go Loikes as well because we're not in the confines of like horror movie rules. Right. You right. can act completely logically right. and how you I would. like to imagine if he babysat a young Michael Myers. Yeah. He would have like happened. introduced him to like hobbies. He would have yeah. been like, "Have you done Ultimate gymnastics?" Frisbee. Yeah, like, they would have flipped around. I just also doubt that Jamie Lee Curtis uh, cares enough. You know, it's saving her town. <laughs> She's saving herself, bro. She went high. Right. She has exactly. money. She <laughs> She's going up into her hill, into her house in the hills, and she's saving her fucking soul. Yes, dude. Um, yeah, I agree with you there. All right, so uh, you're up by a count of uh, two to one right now, as I have it. Oh, wow. Uh, is... It's time for scenario four. The band Muna is looking for a PA likes, for likes. their music video, <laughs> one that got away. It's what kind of fucking research minute. did you do for this shit? <laughs> Pay is industry standard. Must be able to commute to the valley. Uh, are you did going you have any help Lee? making this at all? This my, is all you? My producer did the research. <laughs> How did she find this? Shout out to Marissa Dutton. That's awesome. Uh, Does this come up when you search my name or something? I have no idea. She, uh, she would have to ask her that. You know, we're (laughs) just talented. Did you PA this music video? Is this true? Yes. What? (laughs) Yeah. Right. And Muna's like, uh, Muna's a a big one. There, yeah. 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 People love Muna. What? Yeah, back in uh, 2023, I was intern. That's awesome. So, do you think? I mean, obviously, you did a pretty. Mary's mind blown by this. I basically second AD'd actually. <laughs> like, <laughs> Sick. And I'm not even kidding. There was a yeah. first AD, and usually the job of the second AD, there was no second AD. And usually the job of the second AD is to be kind of like talking with talent and making sure they're getting out on time and like not holding up, you know, the next shot. And I was stationed in the hair and makeup room with the band for the whole show. Hell shoot. yeah, chopping on it up. I walkie talking anytime they would be like, we need this person, I'd be like, hey, yeah, nice. So you got FaceTime with Luna. I, got, I literally got FaceTime That's with nice. Luna. That's nice. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And uh, I'm sure you did a bang-up job on there. I'm sure you were, uh, you know, obviously you went above and beyond your duties as a PA. Do as an unpaid PA. I, think I also <laughs> like to How say, do like, think? I don't even need the first sentence. Like, that's awesome lore, and, like, I, we're going to have to, like, really... Dive into that. Like... Yeah. I'm, this is exciting, but I'm also like, I'm quite frankly, like very upset with you that you, would that you haven't heard about have, like, this, yet. Right. this, especially as my um, manager. It's but I will right. say, I Honestly, will say just sentence that. two, incredibly last minute pay is industry standard and must be able to commute to the Valley. Yeah. It doesn't matter what the job is. He'd do it. He's yeah, going to do would, it. I would. Yeah. 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 And uh, Jamie Lee, probably at, especially <laughs> at this point, her career is probably She's above. I think yeah. she'd yeah. spit on you. I think she would, she would ask like three questions. She'd be like for charity. Yeah. For charity, who's Muna? Yeah. What's a PA? The Valley. <laughs> the Valley. And my industry standard for pay? Yeah, right. I was yeah, gonna say her rate like, is like, probably like, different than yeah. like, the Lee rate is different than the Lloyd's yeah. rate. Is it, <laughs> is it like SAG? Yeah. SAG yeah. Okay. All right, so we'll go. Uh, damn. So you just clinched it on that one, basically. You just I, won. I uh, I, you just won game four, yeah. essentially. It was kind of written in my favor. Yeah, that, that's so. true. I. Uh, well, we'll see how scenario five shakes out. Maybe uh, Lee can uh, get one. Um, I don't even remember what scenario five is, to be honest with you. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> You've been caught in a multi-dimensional timeline hopping situation. You must pick the person you think is most able to discern the true meaning of life and love present across all realities and iterations of yourself. Loix or Lee? Wow. 
So this is kind of, I mean, uh, a thinly veiled reference to uh, Jamie Lee's, um, you know, Oscar win, Oscar winning role. Some would say in everything, everywhere, all at once. But, but again, let's step away from the screen. Let's imagine that this is actually happening in real right. life. If you're caught in, you know, one of those situations, do you think you could get to the bottom of like why we fucking do this whole song and dance? On this twisted blue marble. Wow. Quicker than... Did Jamie Lee? Lee? No, I think uh, it was... Um, She's kind of the evil character in that. Yeah, right? but there's also, like, with the hot dog finger, she, like, kind of realizes, like... There's a moment. I should just, you know, just love everybody yeah, type of thing. Right. Do you think you could do that? <laughs> do you think you could do that? I mean, I don't even know what I'm doing in a multi-dimension timeline hopping situation. <laughs> You know? <laughs> yeah. It's sure. like I can barely say it. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a mouthful. It's a bit of a mouthful. And I, I got to go Lee on this one, yeah. if I'm being honest. I, I just don't think I'm the right person. Yeah. I would I'm get so distracted. Yeah, I would be like, I would find one of those time. Like, I love this timeline yeah. that we're in right now. This Pretty is fun. Good. We're good. doing this. Oh, and we're back to adventure yeah, time. Yeah, get that fucking shit off the screen. <laughs> uh, I like doing this. I like having fun with you guys, and yeah. we get to do pretty cool stuff. But, like, if I found a timeline where I'm in the NBA, which exists, it does exist. That timeline is out exist. there. That timeline exists. There's actually We're going to find it for you. I would have a very yeah. hard time not staying in that time. You got it. You know? You got it. And that, yeah. I, that I think defeats the purpose of the whole situation where I would just have to realize that yeah. this is where I belong. This is where I need to be just trying to, you know, spread love and positive energy to everyone in my life. Right. I would 100% get distracted. <laughs> Speaking from myself. Like, I, there's too much cool stuff to see yeah, out there. And right. I would totally forget about a greater purpose. <laughs> yeah, I forget yeah. about this, this fucking timeline yeah. so fast. Yeah. <sighs> well, um, can I can I pitch a, another scenario? Yeah, please. Uh, if you <laughs> had a daughter and you guys got in a major like argument, disagreement, oh. and then you swapped bodies... With you, the daughter? Yeah. Oh, this is Freaky Friday. Yeah. Got gotcha. you. Do you think... <laughs> <laughs> it's just a situation. Wait, it's a scenario that, six. Yeah. yeah. This happened to him. Yeah. Um, <laughs> do, you, do you think you could uh, get out of it, like, pretty quickly? Like, reverse it? Like, understand your daughter's side? Do you think it would even happen to you? Or do you think you would <laughs> be like... I think well, it wouldn't. I think you would, like, immediately be like, I understand your point of view, and you're yeah, a teenager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yes, like, yeah. I will give you room to fly. I honestly feel that i'm a pretty understanding person yeah i have some sympathy <laughs> um however no no however <laughs> I, I think i would really want to get back into my own body yeah yeah it would be sure, so weird dude. to be in my daughter's yeah. body oh, dude Ooh. you do not want to be yeah. inside your daughter dude. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> um so we'll go loiks on that one then yeah yeah he needs that win. A like, landslide to like tear into him about this I'm moment. About the food. <laughs> <laughs> like enjoy this moment. <laughs> As soon as you leave, you're about to get a talking it's over, to, buddy. It's over. Uh, guys, we're at of just about an hour of internet radio. Are you kidding me? Yeah, it's a, that's basically a podcast in the bag right there. Wow. Did you have fun? Hell yeah. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. I want you to come hang out here. This is the best podcast I've ever been <laughs> yeah, on. We have to come back because we got it. We didn't even talk beef. We didn't talk Vietnam. Yeah, War. I know. Oh, I'm th three episodes in. To come I honestly, I didn't get to, I got too busy this week. Yeah. It so is a bit start. of an undertaking. But I've been reading a lot. Yeah. So. About Vietnam. Yeah. Wow. Well, which I read one? the entire Wikipedia page, which is <laughs> long. <time. laughs> Uh, yeah, and then and I was clicking links. So I was going yes, to, yes. Um, and then I read um, the things they carry. Which yep, is, that's yeah. a good book. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a really good book. And then I also read the women. Don't know that's that where one. this started. It's a new book. It just came out, but it's about like this woman. It's like fictional, but based okay in, historical in fiction. History. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, about like a woman yeah. who was a nurse in Vietnam. That sounds good. Um, so then I was like, well, now I have to watch. Cameron's Vietnam. The, yeah. It's incredible. And uh, are you fascinated by the Vietnam War at all? That's interesting. <laughs> I, I <laughs> so wouldn't no. say I'm the most <laughs> So we'll schedule time for just yes, the two of us. Yes, we'll talk. Uh, but you're a Veep fan. 
I am. I just marathoned yes, the whole yes. fucking no thing. No way. Yeah, I've never seen I've, it before. I've done that like five times. You've never seen it before. I've never seen well, it. I was late to the game, and that so show is fucking incredible. This is yeah. a good time to watch. Yeah. Yes, I it know. is. It really is. Like, for the real. audience, if you've never seen yeah. Veep, like, this watch is the time Veep. to watch. I mean, there's literally the clip with Joe Biden. You know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and just so how, funny. like, ahead of its time and, like, pressure it was. It was and, like, crazy. this, I mean, I guess, like, the frightening thing, but, like, it's a little comforting in a way to know that. People are like, this is the most accurate portrayal of Washington. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, at fuck one the time, West Wing. Yeah. Like, that, i not House real. Of cards. That is like a yeah. dream come yeah. true. Yeah. Right. This is what it's like. They're, yeah, they're egomaniacs and pathetic, weird people. Who's your favorite character? Jonah Ryan. Yeah. Jonah, <laughs> Jonah Ryan. John dude. H. Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> what does it say? Uh, <laughs> I ate so much uh, pussy, I'm shitting clits. <laughs> Bunch of children. Yeah. Jonah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like his uncle a lot too. Uh, man, he just killed me. And I hated Dan at the start of, of the yeah. show. And he eventually turned into one of my favorites as uh, well. Yeah, yeah he's awesome. a softer son. And uh, I mean, Gary obviously, love you are Gary. a Gary lover. Gary lover. Honestly, just love Julia Louis Dreyfus is yeah. just a yeah, fucking she's powerhouse. She's incredible. incredible. Unbelievable. Yeah. Like, and she won the Emmy every year uh, that yeah. shows up. Like, and she deserved right? every Holy year. Shit. Yeah. Like a um, like a nine year run or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Um Yeah, I mean Gary, like Tony Hale, obviously. So Gary good. great, but there's like Gary like evokes yeah, just an emotion that I'm just like, ah <laughs> it just kind of makes when me he sad. Has the heart attack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um but man, yeah, what a show. So, um, but so yeah, good. we'll call, uh, we'll talk Veep, uh, Veep, we'll talk and I mean, Vietnam. if you want to come back for the v- Vietnam episode, Veep at Nam. Yeah. Viet Veep. Viet Veep. Yeah. Yeah. I like Veep at Nam. Veep. Veep at Nam. Yeah. We'll workshop it. It yeah. doesn't sound good, but it makes way more sense. Yeah. It's kind of fun. Yeah. Um, yeah, I got a lot of, uh, a lot of shit to say on that one. I got a lot to say. <laughs> That is such a funny you, be careful, you know there is there is there's a Veep rewatch podcast with um, I saw that I because I saw that they just had Sue on yeah um oh, wow. and they have Julia on like multiple I love times. Sue yeah. yeah Sue was great so good I love the I love um her husband Sue Andrew oh Andrew Meyer yeah I uh, he's like he's like he's an improv good. legend really I didn't yeah. know that yeah. it took me a while for me to figure out like just that because like at first I. At first, I liked him because I was like, oh, sweet dad. And like Selena's like kind of. And then I was like, oh, he's a piece of shit. And I hated him for a while. But then by like season six and seven, I was or five and six and seven. I was like, oh, he like the when, song and dance that him and Selena do. Like it works. Like good. it makes sense. And when, when Mike is like, just want to know, like, just want a word about how my. Uh, yeah, my investments my are investments going. Here's a word. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Crack me up. Um, man, such a good show, dude. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to. I don't know. It's like, what do I? I don't know what to rewatch next because I feel like I'm due for a Breaking Bad rewatch. Yeah. Oh wow! And uh, I've never seen one. Better Call Saul. Whoa! So I need to well, watch just watch that. that. Don't, yeah. don't rewatch. Don't rewatch Breaking Bad. Yeah, yeah, you don't need to rewatch Breaking Bad. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm also due you for a Better Call Saul. Is so good. Watch. Yeah, I know. So yeah. good. And I know once I you give it a watch, shot. You should watch if you watch Better Call Saul. You'll want that Breaking Bad rewatch even more. Yeah. And I want to do Saul first. Yeah. Okay, maybe I'll just watch Better Call Saul next. Yeah, you yeah. should. I think you I should. will. It's addicting. It's really okay. addicting. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, but I'm due for Sopranos. A Sopranos yeah. rewatch. A rewatch of Sopranos. Yeah, I'm due oh. for it. I'm due. Yeah. Woke oh. up this morning. Yeah. Woke up this morning. We, me and Ben started The Penguin yesterday. Oh, how was it? You liking it? I really liked episode one. Ben was like not as sold, but like still wants to continue watching it. But like... uh. I like watching Colin Farrell in that big old suit <laughs> and his silly voice. I think it's fun and cool. And Kristen Malati. Kristen Malati. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. We should probably get out of here, guys. We should probably yeah, end this episode. Uh, thank you so much for uh, coming on the show. Mary, thanks for coming back. Uh, thanks for having uh, me. Anytime. Laundry Day Variety Show Saturday, October 5th. Obscura. Donate money. Just Venmo Jamie directly. Yeah. directly. Or send cash. You can also Venmo me for either thing. Yes. For, for Laundry, laundry day, day and... and for that. I, I am Yes, and Venmo. you're going to be doing what with those funds? Just kind of... Um, I think it's rent. on a need to know basis. What's up? Rent. Rent. <laughs> Pay yeah. rent. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, thank you guys. I'll see you guys soon. I love you. Bye. Bye.